All right. Random, random guy touching my hair in the middle of the, the turret deck. I just, I'll just ignore that. But anyway, we saw Charlie, uh, or sorry, we saw K9 fall to uh, HLB earlier. So I want to see what uh, Charlie does differently if he's going to try to win this one. He does have a best of five to try to figure out the matchup, but uh, I don't think a, I don't think a lot of people are prepared for HLB's character pick here. Yeah, already taken down one wolf in his path at this point thus far, looking to make it two. Yeah, and HLB is higher uh, ranked, or sorry, HLB is lower ranked than Charlie on the PR, so if he does win this, it's big for him as far as points go. I think it will be his only ranked win so far today if he does beat Charlie. So, I mean, he only played K9, who's unranked. Not sure who else he played with the dragon, but I'm pretty sure this would be his first like ranked win if he does take it over Charlie right now. He played Oracle a moment ago, of course. Yeah, and that was supposed to be Nico, so. Right. Yeah. Nair almost got the down smash afterwards. HLB had just enough time to pop the shield up. I was surprised he got with that uh, air dodge on top of Wolf. I thought it was like a free up smash. Nice. That would be out of shield working wonders. It looks very similar to how Cloud wants to be out of shield, to be honest. Oh, the scoop. I think Charlie dropped shield and just got a uh, call card with that. They got to 16%. Okay, nice up smash. Couple jump. Throw one up air. With that up e, I know you can get a uh, combo into another up special, one that HLB isn't currently using, but in that particular case, you're probably going to have to go forward and drop. Yeah, Charlie's already be trying these setups, but like, HLB's just falling on top of him with air. I feel like Charlie has to like, Go for like a, a way of popping into the air, but then um, you know bait out an aerial and push him there. That's not actually one of the down special. Yeah, I have not seen him go for that at all this whole time. I've seen him play on stream. I mean, with the amount of end lag that it carries, the amount of time that's sort of vulnerable in that headstand position, you can see why. Yeah, but surprisingly enough, Charlie can't even punish him. Another one of those things like, okay, I got lucky, I, I got away with that. I'm not gonna use it again. <laughs> Oh, tried to be a hero by spiking him through the stage, but that wolf flash, sorry, wolf fire, if he holds down, just pokes the post ledge just enough for him to get that hit. And it's incredibly strong, but wow, he does it. He makes it work. Down special, getting the kill one way or the other. Charlie just throwing out a couple of fast fall errors. Knows that any damage is good damage at this point. Why not use one of the with the best damage output full scale? Nice tech chase from Charlie. Link to a pretty decent string and some stage control. Hoping to get something started. Out of the range for him, perhaps get fair to fair, but landing there into a lot is true at this percent, especially that ground. Yeah, that, that neutral is like almost everything cool. Drags up damage, leaves the combos, kills sometimes. That is one of his many useful moves. Which is why it amazes me that like I still don't see that many more wolf players. <laughs> I guess everyone figured out the matchup by now, so it's not as easy to move him, but I still think he's an incredible character. I think he is. So. Yeah, so I say that. Or he saved his air dodge. Or he gets past the Ooh! Nice down smash. Kill the roll. Great angle. Ooh! Three bodies? Oh, he didn't realize the rage he can attack from. Oh man, that's rough. Drops the leg on him and HLB takes the game one victory. Just a weird interaction there at the end. A couple of moves whiffing just out of the distance, but fade or not, it's his game. It's in his lap. All right, HLB trying to make a case for the Wolf Slayer tonight. Already got that really clutch win over K9. Trying to see if he can get another one over Charlie. Of course, Charlie, uh, he can, he's like capable of adapting. I've seen it happen to him multiple times. So uh, this is one of the sets that like feels like it should go to game five. You know, they don't seem like they're there's one person that's going to be better than the other. Yeah, there's not too great of a talent disparity between the two of them. Charlie, of course, higher ranked, has a few more results, but we know that he can do damage and he's beaten players such as the Master Mario points in that fight. He can take sets off the top players and a lot of players in any situation. Yeah, if anything, I feel like. Wow, he's trying to go for the crazy upbeat. You know? Yeah, I feel like HLB is low rank. A lot of it comes from just not being able to attend most of the big tournaments that count for PR, you know? 
not necessarily that like he's just not as good. And at the same time, you know, even getting him the SoCal PR is quite an accomplishment what with the talent of SoCal and Frank has. Yeah. I could definitely agree with that. This is a stacked region, however, where you can put it. Nice. Okay, Charlie trying to see where he wants to edge guard at the... Do he wants to take his stock at the ledge? Because anytime that he lets HOB retreat to certain days, it's another time he can get the kill, but not even letting him finish the animation. That's a really good option. Yeah, now, that, now that he knows he can up smash before he even gets the swing out on the second kick, that'll help him out a lot. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen Charlie use up smash as an anti-air in this matchup. We've seen him use it out of shield to just scoop him up, but to catch a jump in particular, that's something new in this game too. Oh, really? Get oh, the lock man. Off of that? Yeah, he did. I wish he just went for like a forward smash instead of going for a juggle there. Probably would have killed it for like. Okay, Charlie, I think he was definitely considering landing there in the flash there. He's out of the percent burns into the percent window now. He wasn't before, but the way he was sort of hunting for that, I wouldn't be surprised if that was fine. Yeah, Charlie knows like pretty much every setup that Carbon the Wolf Flash at this point. Well, commonly known setup anyway. He might invent some more for all I know. Oh my god, a flurry of backers. Eventually one of them's gonna hit because you wanna get out of the corner versus this oppressive move. But uh Charlie just calls up that jump. And that was so well done from him. That was a full hop bear which actually got the kill where he was actually baiting him in short hop bears before, but the air dodge is gonna be the end of Charlie's first stop. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like Charlie gonna held on that stock for at least like 30, 40 more percent, but it's no big deal. He still has a little bit of a lead. Wow, he could shield after that. I thought he was like in much more to, uh, vulnerability after using that move on the ground. That's uh, probably why he's getting away with it so much. Not only does he have enough shield stun to like make it so it's kind of safe on shield at a good range, even if it whips, it doesn't have that much lag. I'm talking about the up B, of course. Um, brawler. Still, Charlie just trying to rack up his percent, looking really strong. HLB wants one way to kill him, falls on top of him with a surprise down B. I don't think anyone saw that coming. Yeah, just dive bombs out of disadvantage there. It's something that you can't do too often, but as a mix-up, it's certainly effective. Wants to go for the spike there, Charlie's gonna flash four, but before that can even happen. Okay. Oh, oh man. I don't know how that hitbox works. It like, seems so inconsistent. Sometimes it like, sends him with the full hits, other times you like, fall out of it. I don't know, that's weird, but nice. Mix them up a little bit with the little dash dance up the legs. Come with down smash to cover, like, just get up and roll. But, uh, yeah, this game looking really good for Charlie. I, oh, was he, was he too far? Does he not have, like, a side B that goes towards the leg? Yeah, he does, right? Uh, he does, but he need to charge it up a little bit to get that distance, uh, and it might have been too low. Okay, okay. Got it. All right, 1-1 one, one between these two. I believe that was a two-stock for Charlie, so the adjustments definitely were made in the next game. Here, this up, oh, this is our last game, baby. Yeah, it's Ooh. interesting to see how people adapt to like a, a good knee brawler, because I feel like the first match is like, okay, I'm figuring out what this character does, what special is he running, how is it, uh, how does his playstyle affect one, the character he's using go. in the match he's playing against me? And uh, both of it will take like at least two games to figure it out, but Charlie seems to have found at least some sort of answer here to HLB's, you know, me brawler here. Brawler, of course, a very mixed match character, as you just said. It's not only a case of you need to adapt to the character, you need to adapt to the person who's playing the character as well, because there's ten different ways to play each combination. Wanted to go for fair dare there. Oh, he caught him slipping above the ledge, though. Charlie turned that into a stock, even though he missed the down air from the fair. Still got a, a stock off of that. That's clean. Really good stuff. But okay. Big comeback from HLB. Sniping off all of his jumps. He was back again for his trouble. Didn't take any percent. These guys are going back and forth and killing each other. <laughs> kind of what you want to see. Everyone likes to see like a back and forth match. Yeah, this is a lot faster paced game through here. Two stocks taken within 35 seconds. Charlie continuing this assault with a down throw dash attack. Nice. You've got so many moves that could pull you at the ledge. Charlie though is going to surprisingly uh, let him get back to the stage for free by using that F smash, but he doesn't even care. He's just bullying him so much right here, getting all the hits he wants. HLB trying to get something started. He's really going to need a, a strong low percent combo, but yeah, Charlie's not making it happen for him. Off stage again. Off the back and just out of the range of that. 
Yeah, Charlie's getting a little bit greedy with the up smash. I don't think he's really timing it in a way to actually get the stock. He's kind of throwing it out there. Or maybe he's trying to tire, but just slightly off. Oh, nice big opportunity here for HOV. Oh, so close. So close to getting that 2 connect. Charlie, he's not, he's not going off stage because he just doesn't want to risk like trading with that weird recovery of B-Brawler. Oh, I think he just wanted to recover in a way that he would avoid the shot put, but he was just so far away from the stage, it didn't matter. Ooh, he's throwing out the uppies like no one cares right now. Okay, but there's a dash attack. When in doubt, just put the, the boots out, man. That easy dash attack kill at the top. And of course, 31 is not anything huge. Charlie can make that up with one like down throw dash attack screen. Or like four dash screen. Wow, I really like that he's going for that spike. Even if it isn't connecting. It's still very scary. Oh, barely. Barely getting out of that downer setup. And there, Charlie running back and forth just out of the range of Fair Bear. A uh, throw, interesting. I've uh, not seen Meebrawler go for that yet. Oh! He fell out! Oh, that's so unlucky. He was at the platform edge, so he couldn't get the full thing to connect. That definitely would have killed, but wow, the scoop up smash. Looking like Fox out here. Nice anti air, though. Man, HOV really did a good job of swinging that match. That was pretty. Yeah, whether it's side special, whether it's whatever move he just saves in his pocket, we saw forward smash instead of going now up smash, he just has one option always prepared in his back pocket for a situation where he might need it. It's a tool that he might need to use later, and we've seen it come into handy time and time again. Time and time again. It's like a, that's like a uh, commentator trope. Time and time again. I think it's like a compilation video of commentators saying that. It's pretty funny. I think it's one step below nice back air. <laughs> it's like nice back air, like tier S. Then time and time again is up like an A. There's probably more, like uphill battle yep. or mountain to climb. Some, you know, some comp some comparison from a deficit to climbing a mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Slept tweet about that. I think we all did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love Slept. Anyway, 2 1. HLB working on the potential 3 1 to move on to the winner's bounce. Big for him. Considering I'm pretty sure he's the lowest ranked uh, PR, so called PR member at this tournament. And, uh, it would just show that him beating K9 and like getting this far from he goes to DQ is uh, not a fluke, you know? Yeah, it's him or Tater, I mean. Yeah. Alright, but Charlie not trying to let that happen, though. Definitely wants to move on to the winner's finals. Nice level dash attack, but HLB was winning for that just out of the rain. Alright, get that clutch shine out there. He does not want to deal with the shot put whatsoever, so every time you see the move come out, it immediately reflects it right back. Ooh, nice. He's been covering that jump ledge really well. Oh! Oh, man. I think I should be just, like, one just take the stock with him. I don't know if he intended to, uh... I think he intended to, like, spike Charlie with him. I mean, that has to be what he's going for, right? wouldn't see it that high above life for any of that. Let's see, see how HLB takes the stock, though. Oh! Probably want to get started with the four-year string. Because he knows he can get so much damage in the case, but uh, he can't do anything too obvious because HLB will just punish him. Alright. Getting a little bit greedy with the up -ease here. Charlie's going to get a free punch again. I'm not quite sure where you, why he went for the raw dash attack there when the dash grab was way to He was within down throw dash attack percent and probably could have gotten a larger string off of it. Now he's just going to go for the up throw instead. Oh, Charlie. This reading the situation there. Goes for a four tilt, maybe expect her to get up when it was an opportunity for like going for us smash or something. Might use the blaster there and then she'll be ready with the three. Okay. Again, falling there, weak now leaving the grab almost at every percent man. Now there just does it all, dude. Tech chases, grabs, combos, game, kills. Do your taxes for you. It does everything. It's funny to think like so many characters would like go from being like low tier to at least like mid if they had moves there. So, it's so good. Oh, free hit. Try to watch it. HLV. Again, only one game away. Move on to the winners' finals. Charlie just trying to make it to a game five, but 
he can't do anything too risky. I think he's trying to bait out HOB too by doing these little dash acts, he's playing patiently. But uh, HOB's not making, uh, he's not falling for most of these setups at all. Ooh, the opposite way, he definitely didn't expect that. Oh, and he can't come back. He could not side B in that situation because if he did side B, he would have got hit by the shot put. He just picked the wrong angle on the Firewolf there. Probably could have made it back with a 30 degree angle. 45 instead. He does get the F tilt to get the kill afterwards, so that downward angle of F tilt. He's yeah. gonna be the yeah, it's really good at catching people at high percent. It is below the ledge. They, you get less invincibility when you're at high percent. So that episode is always dangerous in that situation. Oh, he got a nair, but he wasn't able to turn it into a And now HOB is just like smashing the moves out of a disadvantage. And the dash attack from Charlie, but the breaker from HOB. Nice. All right, Charlie might be getting a little bit fresh air. Oh my goodness. He was a little bit more on point. That down smash would have been enough, but oh, nice nair. Dude, that's a jump, yeah. Good recognition from Charlie there. Seeing he had an opportunity to at least snipe away that jump and turn it into a stock. Hit him way too far away from the stage where he couldn't come back. Even with his side B, I don't think he was able to come back. He said you have to charge it a little bit, right? Yeah. I mean, you right. called this one of the very good games. We're going to win five years. Again, like, you guys are both really good players. And I feel like... HOB being the one that doesn't come out that much, Charlie has a lot to like figure out about how he plays. And HOB has shown that he knows this wolf matchup really well. Well enough to like take a set over K9 and bring Charlie to like game five anyway. Alright, so let's see who comes out on top. We're running it back to FD here. Uh I don't know, I guess HOB is really comfortable on this stage. Perhaps Charlie getting two wasted spares there, but no matter as he'll get another throw off of him. Yeah, I would love to see how. Uh, I would love to see more people mix up their DI on uh, Charlie's combos. He does say that he likes to fall DI as well, but at least make it a little bit of a challenge for him, you know? Nice, Charlie just trying to press him as much as possible. Missing that there allows HLB to get a little bit of stage control. Ooh. No tag. Oh, you can't be missing tags versus Wolf there. It's almost 2020, man. That's like the one thing he's been doing since the game came out. I mean, it's been over a year, man. You know how powerful that down smash is. It got nerfed twice, and it's still one of the yeah. most powerful moves in the game. All right. Angel B needs to uh, make something happen now. He was able to, uh, you know, get these revenge stocks earlier, but I don't know if that's going to work on Charlie twice. Did he catch the jump again? Yeah, too. Barely even got touched, barely even hit him really. He didn't even like, he really didn't hit him like three times. I was stock. He still got the stock for that. That's so. a great trend of momentum in Charlotte's favor right now. Have to find some way up the ledge first and does put a bear into grab. He, he was even going for shine combos too. I love to see his shine combos like, actually in a bracket match. Oh, you might be seeing a few stock here. It's definitely a real possibility. But there's a back hair. I gotta, I gotta bless him sometimes, you know? Toss a little bit of caster's luck to HOB's way. Again, oh, Charlie, man. He's got that, that absolute recovery snipe. Like, he's got it on lock right here. Puts the out of shield. I, all right. I know Charlie actually practices puts the out of shield for like upbeat, but he didn't go for it there. Yeah, not quite in kill range for that particular sequence, but it's still very impressive and very difficult to pull off. Like the Charlie show, honestly, HOV's gonna need a lot to win this game right here. Okay, nice. Oh man, but Charlie saved it. Wow, he saved the perfect angle for the wolf flash. Even when it looked like he got hit on his jump, he still made it back. Next wow. Like side was gonna carry All right, got the top. Got to throw it out. Charlie was not ready for that to hit mid range, but I don't know. I feel like that's something you want to save for the last stock, especially when you're behind like this. See what we can do, but yeah, Charlie's looking really strong to kick this last stock in the one of finals. HLB will have to find some other game to take this. Charlie's still over 100% in the lead. Up to almost killing as well. He's trying to find a way off the ledge. He gets something started. But yeah, he's going to need a big play. He does have a ton of rage, so he can't kill early. Boom! Charlie getting a little greedy there. Hold up, he's got to be careful. Still not over for HLB. All right, back throw at 160. Well, yeah, it will get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just enough. 
I think Charlie like felt the cut that happened to Major. He's like, all right, I, I can't let this happen. Let me, let me just throw him out of here before, he, before it even matters, before it gets too dangerous, you know. Yeah, one but, back uh, throw, not necessarily a bonafide kill throw, but if you.